there and thanks for watching. Today I wanted to share with you um, Tombow's Recycled Colored Pencils. They sent me these in the mail for this month and at first I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. I don't do a whole lot of coloring. I've tried regular uh, Crayola colored pencils before and they just didn't look great on my stamps. But as I started to play with these, I realized I really like um, the look they give and they're really easy to use even if you're not really great at coloring like I am. Um, but I wanted to show you a few of the things that I picked up this weekend as I was playing with them. So I thought they're really great for coloring in your stamped images and this is a stamp set from Avery L. It's the Peonies stamp set and I've used it on lots of different cards already. Um, here's some examples of what I colored this weekend using the um, colored pencils. I just wanted to show you what I did. So maybe I can zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, so I, f I kind of figured out I like using the the lighter colors first. So I like to put down a layer of just the lighter color over the whole image. And as I'm coloring, I noticed it's a really smooth type of uh, colored pencil. It goes on really smooth and it just feels really nice. Not, um, not as rough as some other colored pencils I've used. And the color is really intense. It really puts down a nice um, pigment of color. So I like that as well. So I'm just going over the whole image. I'm not really careful to um, really uh, fill in all the spots. Just putting a layer down. All right. And then I'm going to take my red. And I'm just going to go in and add some shading in some spots and kind of, kind of light. And I'm doing sort of a really small circular motion. I don't want like the um, liney, <laughs> the little lines you might get. I'm just trying to put on a little bit of color, sort of blend it. Putting it the darker color in areas that would be a little bit more shaded to help it give a little bit more of a realistic look. If you're wondering, I did stamp these images in um, Versafine's Black Onyx ink. It's a permanent uh, water um, water resistant ink. It shouldn't run if you use water or anything, which I'm not going to do, but if you were doing um, Copics or watercolor, it would be a good ink for that as well. So I'm just working kind of quickly, not really taking my time, just trying to show you how easy these are to use. So then I have that done and I'm going to go back in with my yellow and go over it again and that's just going to help it sort of blend out and have a little bit even more even color. And even though I did use red when you mix it with the yellow, it makes it look more orange. These uh, colored pencils really blend well together even if you're not using a blender pen or um, I think it's Gamsol I think you can use when you're using colored pencils. I have not tried that yet, but it's always something I've kind of wanted to learn and um, pick up. So now with the yellow, I am pushing a little bit harder, um, filling in any of those little areas I may have missed before and putting down a nice saturation of color. Okay. 
And that's pretty much it. So I really like the look it gives for um, stamped images. I did blue and this this one here I did this weekend that's um, blue and purple. So I put down some blue over the whole image and I came back in with the purple to give it some shading and then went back over it again with blue. This is some more of the red and yellow. Um, I put a little bit more red on that one and I like that as well. And this was one I was working on. I didn't like how it was turning out so I kind of abandoned that. But, so you can see, you can see how easy it is to color some of these things. So I'll probably go ahead and color the rest of these flowers and then I'll have images um, that I can just die qu quickly for my cards if I have a need for them in the future. I did also want to show you another thing that you can do with these um, pencils since they're really easy to blend. You can sort of um, add a few colors together to make a new color. So they do have a green that I got in this pack. So you can color your leaves really simply with the green. But if you kind of wanted to change the shade or um, blend your own green, um, you can take yellow, put down some yellow, and then of course yellow and blue make green. So um, just go over your yellow with some blue doesn't quite look green yet, but then you can go back over with your yellow and kind of even out the um, color there. So it's kind of blending together. So that's more of a yellowish green, but you can see it really blends well and um, kind of surprised at how <laughs> how awesome it looks when you blend those colors together. So I'm kind of excited to try some more um, color combinations and I'm also really tempted to go and buy the big 24 pack of these colored pencils because I really love them so much and I, I could see, foresee myself um, coloring a lot of stamped in images with this for cards or even scrapbooking or you know if you do any kind of sketching or art or anything I think they'd be really great. And the really nice thing about them is they are recycled wood, so um, that's a good thing too. <laughs> um, so I really like them. Hopefully I give you some good tips, some ideas, of things you can do with them. And thank you for watching and have a great day.